Only been a couple of matches since last episode, but we've continued our run of good form for the most part. And uh, so we'll take a look at scores. We've got Dutch Cup semifinal action today for highlights, and then we'll play it by ear on where we go after that for the live match today. Roll the intro. Let's get to it. So the first thing, we just got an email a couple of days ago in game that uh, to record a top half finish in the league, uh, we have passed that uh, one year ahead of schedule. So good job there. So we've taken that next step uh, in building this club, helping to do the Build the Nation Challenge as well. You know, there's a lot of things going on here. We, you know, we took a lower league side. Uh, building that club, building the nation, and we're still working towards being very competitive here and then getting into Europe. Now, what have we done to that end? Well, since last episode, we've only played a couple of matches. Uh, we actually had a huge match with Haravine, who were second in the table, and surprisingly, we played them to a nil-nil draw. And I say surprisingly because they're just better than us. I think it was 21 shots to eight or something. I mean, they dominated us in this. But the final score, we got one point out of that. So that's all that matters. A 3-0 clean sheet over Venlo, Vanderhorst, Kernjik, and Resnick with the goals in the first half. I wanted to also point out, we got uh, some money recently from uh, Bretta for Ronnie Ebers. Uh, there was the sell-on fee. and I had forgotten or didn't remember that Ebers was formerly a DeGroff shop player and was sold for $3.9 million to FCSM. And I don't know what club that is. Sasho Montbelliard? Yeah, I knew that. We all knew that, right? Everybody knew that. That's common knowledge. <laughs> so anyway, we picked up uh, about $300,000 from, uh, from that move. Uh, and that's how he rewards us. Thanks a lot. So let's get to Feyenoord. We have highlights coming up right now. So Feyenoord is eighth in the table, So, but still a very good side. And we were going to have our work cut out for us here. They pick out a pass. Lopez sits Kaiser down. And we found ourselves in a one nothing deficit in the second half. DeVos gets control way out wide to profit. Kernjik right in front of the keeper, and I don't know how he got a foot on that ball, but he did, and there was the equalizer in the 66th minute. Momsilovic lays it off to DeVos. He brings it inside, sends it in, and I thought he was going for goal, but Kernjik redirects it, and it counts. Actually, that first goal was an own goal. Uh, I forgot about that. Didn't, didn't remember that. But uh, we win in the semifinal. And we get $2 million for that. That's going to help the finances out as we now move up to $34 million. Puts us in the positive for the season. So that's good because we are losing money. But that's good. If we can get a run here and make some money, that would be great. All right. Let me figure out when the draw is because I don't know when we're going to come back. Oh, we're in the final. Oh, so silverware. Hello. All right, that's going to be the last... No, it's not. It's going to be on the 15th of April. All right, I'm going to play a couple of these off camera. Let's come back for Villem. And I tell you what, who... Heronveen has really moved up. Vitesse, PSV still up there. AZ still up there. But Ajax is down. Feyenoord's down. We've come a long way here. All right, so let me get a couple of these matches played. We'll come back for the live match, as I said, against Willem. And then we'll come back for the Dutch Cup final. And we'll see where we're at with that as far as how we're going to, are we going to show highlights? But I want to show you guys a clincher if we've got a shot at the silverware. So we'll definitely do that as well. So hang tight. I'll be right back for you. 
So I wanted to show you guys the uh, development center news. So uh, a lot of wingers coming through. One good-looking goalkeeper. Uh, one young Dutch right winger from Lint. So a golden generation potentially. No fullbacks, no good fullbacks. Most of the center backs won't make the grade. Playing a three-back set, that's not really great. But anyway, there's our youth intake. Uh, we also, taking a look at our squad and sorting by potential, we brought in uh, 10 released players or upcoming released players uh, to take a look at them. I don't think any of them are going to be good enough to stick around. I will let them stick around through the 10-day, two-week training period, but I don't think I'm going to keep any of them. They're all 20 or older, so even though this guy has a youth team rating, he's not going to ever crack our side, so we're not going to worry about him. Jumping over to the schedule, we beat Vitesse 1-0. Uh, Ludinho Vicario came off the bench and got a goal in this one, and uh, he scored in two games in a row. Uh, we started him against Ajax. We lost 3-2. to two. What was interesting is you saw the Feyenoord highlights. Uh, Feyenoord ranked, uh, and then uh, Vitesse, Heronveen, all rank really high. We we got outplayed by Vitesse, but won. And then against Ajax, we outplayed them. More shots, more on target, and yet they beat us by one goal. Uh, then we turned around and beat Utrecht 1-0, Resnick getting on the score sheet. We're back today for Villem 2 with a victory. What did the email tell me? So Heronveen is out to qualify for the preliminary stage of the Champions League, and we are evidently looking to clinch a place in the Euro Cup. We've secured promotion. I mean, we, we've secured that we'll stay up, but I don't know how we're above them in the table and not going for Champions League as well. I mean, we're 16 points clear there. Now, we did lose. We looked at that at the beginning of the season. We did lose a Champions League qualifying. So it's the top three for Champions League. We're 15 points clear of fourth position. We've got a much higher goal differential. I, I don't know, man. I don't know how that, it figures that out. We've got six matches left to play, which is 18 points. We're pretty close. We're pretty close. All right, well, let's get into today's match against Villem. They are the defending champions from last year. But let's get into the match. We are playing Villem. They are the defending league champions from last year. Uh, we are going to go with Kaiser in goal, Gerber, Dimitrovic, Kurdov on the back line, Cervenka, DeVos on the wings, Grutunk and Momsilovic in the mid, Vanderhorst in the number 10, and Kernjik and Resnick up top. Let's get to it. Home game. Looks like it's sold out. Well, I don't know. There's a few seats in there, I guess. No, that's stairs. All right, good. I'm glad they showed the side so I could confirm that I was stupid. <laughs> yes, the stairways. All right, let's give them some encouragement. We've got a couple of early shots, one on target. They're playing a 4-3-3. Intercepted by DeVos on the throw-in. DeVos brings it down into the box, and he's tackled hard. No whistle. Wow. Kurdov picks it up. Momsilovic, good touch. Over the top to Cervenka. He's in the box. He lays it in, and it's sent wide. I don't know if that was DeVos or Resnick who mishit it, but they sent it just wide, a little begging there. Come on, boys. All right, Momsilovic, the outswinger. Cervenka tracks back to get it. Grutunk, he was just called up for the Netherlands uh, youth squad, I believe. Uh, DeVos is there, and he puts back the rebound. That, if it stands, was a very, very heady play. Hopefully they show a replay, because our striker, Resnick, did a great job here. He's offside right here. He's offsides, and he just stops, lets DeVos go after it. He stays out of the play. DeVos 
takes it in, makes the most, and that's a huge goal, one nothing. That was a brilliant play by Resnick, and you don't see that a lot in Football Manager. Very happy. Uh, what's interesting, uh, our keeper, Kaiser, uh, the two matches that we, uh, the Heronveen draw and the narrow win against uh, Vitesse, uh, he had, he was player of the match both times with nine or more saves and a clean sheet in both of them. Uh, through ball, Kernjik should have put that one in the net, and we are going to demand more here. We had the loss. Oh, Kurdov with the play. I miss. I was looking at the standings over there and completely missed the play. So I'm going to have to watch the highlight to see what happened. All right, it's Momsilovich on the corner, an inswinger near post to Kurdov, and he puts it in 2 0. Uh, so we had the loss that lost to Ajax. Luckily, uh, Heronveen uh, was playing Vitesse and they drew. Uh, so they only picked up a point against our loss. So we're on even footing. We do hold the slight advantage. Oh, that was not good. Ninth goal of the season for Vandermeer. And that makes it 2-1. Kurdov and Dimitrovic should have done a better job there. Should have done a better job. Servinka's a little tired. But uh, yeah, so we were only able to make up, uh, you know, they were only able to make up the one point. But you can see our goal differential is now only two over them because uh, they got a 6-0 win over VVV Venlo. And we are dominating this one statistically on the XG, but we are lacking. Uh, let's pump the fist, get them back out on the field. We'll give them some more encouragement here in the early going. Cervenka and DeVos, both of our wingers, are starting to look tired. All right, some good ball movement there in the mid. Momsilovic. He's played well for us, but his national uh, coach, not too impressed with him so far. Grutunk finds DeVos. First touch into the box. Oh, and he sends it wide of the mark. Come on, guys. We've got to do a little bit better than that. Momsilovic with the throw. Deep in his own territory. That's a American football reference. From the shadows of his own goalpost. <laughs> All right, they're moving the ball. They're looking very Barcelona-esque here with the ball movement. Oh, Kaiser, I thought they were trying to dink him, but he went up and made the save, but there wasn't offsides there. Oh, my goodness. Nice ball into Kernjik. He's in, and he goes near post. Looks like it went off the post, and the keeper actually did a good job to hang on to that ball. Let's go ahead and pull Cervenka off. We'll bring Profit on, and DeVos, and we'll bring, let's bring Aaron on out there. So we'll replace both wingers with some fresh legs. That position does play a big role for us in the attack. Vanderhorst lagging a little bit. 6.6 .6 rating. Dimitrovich is at 6.5. All right, I'm going to pause it here. We're going to demand more. And I'm going to bring Gerber into the middle as that cover. I really don't like substituting center backs. Let's pull off Grutunk and go with... We're going to go with Jazvich here because he's composed. I was looking at uh, Udzimir, but he's nervous. So we're going to leave him on the bench. Didn't like the look in his eyes, you know? Cleared away. Intercepted by Vandehorst. He's got runners with him. Resnick's up there. He runs onto it. Two touches. Oh, that was one touch too many. Stacy was able to get a foot in front of him to block that. There's our demand more shout coming in. Vandehorst tracks the cleared header back into the box. Momsilovich looking for an entry pass. Profit is there. That was a little poor. Aaron 
Aaron, there's his highlight into the box. Jazvich back on. He's got his highlight. And it was there for Kernjits, but Rizki goes up and makes the grab. I haven't changed anything here, and this is where I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's off the mark. Thank goodness. All right. Uh, tactically, what do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to move the wingers to support. Let them play a little farther back. Three minutes of stoppage time. And we hold on for the 2-1 two, victory. Again, outplayed them, but only a narrow victory. One goal. A good win. Well done. Try to keep them motivated. And that keeps us even with Heronveen on points. They beat PSV 2-0 today. Skelsrup with a brace in that one. PSV down in seventh position. We get the win over Villem. And that is good news. Again, I don't think I'm going to sign any of those trial players. That will confirm our best ever finish in the Arita VC. So that is good. We pay out a bonus for qualifying for the Euro Cup. So we've at least got that going on next year in Europe, which will be an improvement on this year because we did not make Europe last season. So we went to Europe. Missed Europe. We're back into Europe now, at least in the Euro Cup. So I think that's a huge achievement for us. PSV fires their boss man. So where do we come back? Well, we certainly come back for the Dutch Cup final. Looking at the competition, we're on 69 points. It's going to come down to that season finale in all likelihood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it by ear. So the next episode will be the last one of the season. But what we're going to do, it'll probably be a little bit longer episode, so just a warning. We're going to at least we're going to watch we're going to play Ajax in the Dutch Cup final because we, you know, we want to look at silverware and then we'll look at highlights from PSV AZ up to the point that we are competing for the title or if we've lost games here against Eindhoven or Feyenoord or, you know, in that PSV AZ run, um, you know, then we'll just finish it up right there. <clears throat> so a lot of things going on. We could win the league. We could win silverware in the Dutch Cup. We could qualify for Champions League. We're already qualified for Euro Cup 2. This has been a very successful season, but there's still a lot to play for. Please hit that like button if you like what I'm doing here. Subscribe if you're new or if you haven't done so yet. I know sometimes you just forget because uh, I do that all the time. And uh, hey, big shout out to my friend uh, Matt. Uh, his, he goes by the handle Aussie Villain, and he is a FM YouTuber. Him and his wife just had their first baby. So the little villain is here and uh, very happy for him and his wife. And she's doing well, he told me yesterday. And uh, if you haven't checked him out, I highly recommend his channel. He's uh, he's kind of one of those mid-level, you know, he's he's bigger than me. He's bigger than a small channel, but he's not at the level of, uh, you know, the the Lokis and Lelujos and Dr. Benjis of the world. Uh, but he does some really good skits and uh, I'd steal them, but I can't do them as good as he does. So I don't, I'm not going to waste my time and embarrass myself, but uh, definitely give uh, give him a look as well. Uh, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you. Lots of action next episode. Take care. Bye.